Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Taurus, this is from the 29th of April to the 5th of May. Let's see what my Taurus can, can expect and your major influence and your major arcana for the week ahead. Taurus is, ah, the magician. All right, so this week you have all the tools that you need to manifest whatever you want. You are the magician of your own life, it seems. Let's see how, let's see what's available to you and what my Taurus gang will be manifesting this week. So let's start with this deck and uh, take one card for each day, Monday to Sunday, Taurus, and then we'll clarify them as required. So, Spirit, tell me, for Taurus, please, what can they expect? How can they be best prepared for what's to come from Monday to Sunday for Taurus? And a warm welcome back, of course, uh, to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Okay, all right. Uh-huh. Okay, and Sunday, the Four of Cups. Well, something new that is going to be starting or this week is going to be a week of planning. This week is of all of manifestation from what I feel. There is something on your mind, um, Taurus, on Monday, uh, you're very like thinking mind. I can see Taurus thinking and making plans and you know, this is what I want to do, but maybe I still need a little more time because I see on Tuesday with the page of swords energy, maybe there is something that you need to first, you know, get more information on or maybe you have to, you know, sign some contracts or something. You are investing or thinking of investing into uh, some new project or a new idea or maybe a new relationship I don't know but before I continue let's just let me just take out an affirmation card for you so you end up manifesting what's best for you Taurus so spirit tell me for uh, Taurus please affirmation what should they affirm to themselves Taurus and for you the card that I have is I'm pure and I'm light Archangel Gabriel. You are blessed to receive this Archangel card and your guidance is to invoke Archangel Gabriel who works on the white ray for grace and purification. It's time to release old memories, ingrained habits and mental patterns which lower your vibrations. Archangel Gabriel will bring order and discipline into your life so that everything runs smoothly. You can also call upon him to bring you clarity and joy. You are reminded that you are a beautiful light and a wise spirit, that only the material mantle disguises your true self. So envision yourself surrounded by pure white light. Let your pure spirit emerge and fly. That's your overall energy. Wow. All right, spirit. Let's start the reading. So tell me about Monday first. Let's take this deck. Okay, what can my um, uh, Taurus gang expect for Monday? Why is the King of Swords here? What's the King of Swords here for Monday? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so you are uh, you are focusing on something brand new. Maybe you've already reached a level of uh, maybe some kind of success in your life or you're feeling very strong or maybe that's what you want to reach. You know, something single-handedly, something I want to accomplish and I want to do this by myself. I have to focus myself. You you are leaving um, some kind of um, situation or some time behind which is probably a little bit rocky because you are now moving on towards a happier time and you're very, very focused. With the King of Swords energy and the Nine of Pentacles energy, it's like, yeah, I, I know I have to do this by myself and I have to now make good strong plans to accomplish these goals whatever kind of goals these are right so you're manifesting that that's for sure page of swords for tuesday spirit page of swords three of pentacles i think that there are other people who may be wanting to collaborate with you or maybe connect with you or be supportive of you i think you are a bit suspicious i think you are going to be a little suspicious of why you know whether you should take help from others or not yes there is a bit of fear there is a bit of fear you i think you want to do something by yourself if i'm not i'm not mistaken or this could also be a day when you actually are collaborating with others and you have to sign some papers or you have to you know be, if that is the case if you are connecting with people to you know uh, 
maybe discuss some plans or sign some papers or something just be a little mindful out of these people two or three whoever you're meeting one of them could be not trustworthy because i do have a devil here between all these three people i i do see a devil but in other cases it is just this just could be you fearing collaborating with others and being a little mindful which you should be of course so the wednesday spirit seven of pentacles what's the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles okay one more six of wands you are moving you are manifesting some big victory into your life but there is i don't know why i see that somewhere you are thinking about some past disappointments as well some maybe in the past maybe you had collaborated with others or you trusted people maybe they let you down maybe you had a la you know that you got left out in the cold or you felt um, some past fears are creeping in on wednesday just be a little mindful of that you are investing into a brand new life i mean i do see you focusing on what you should invest in uh and it's going to bring you a lot of victory six of wands is a card of popularity being seen you know sitting on that white horse and everybody kind of applauding you and saying well done well done taurus you made it kind of a thing but uh i why do i feel even though with the chariot you are moving forward maybe you spend a little time thinking about some past disappointments and you don't want to repeat those mistakes yeah that could be it in the future investments you don't want to make the same mistakes that that's a pretty good idea because on um, thursday i do see you in that temperance energy where you're not going to rush anything you're going to take it easy you're going to think long and hard and yeah see two of wands this is like um, planning making decisions making choices but not rushing towards them Uh, so take Thursday out. Take Thursday out to just maybe be with yourself. Don't make any hasty decisions with the Two of Swords, Two of Wands. This is a strong indication that Thursday is a day where you just step back, reevaluate, think about everything. And by Friday, I do. Yeah. See, before I go on to Friday again, I see the Four of uh, Swords for Thursday. So Temperance, Two of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Please take they take this day out and. just be with yourself don't let anyone pressurize you or you know force you to decide quickly or you know choose a path or choose a direction just say uh i've got a headache i need to just be by myself or something just take some time out for yourself so by um, friday spirit nine of wands what's the nine of wands okay one more magician okay so i don't think anybody will have been able to get the best of you you may just uh, hold your ground i think by friday you've figured out what what makes you feel uncomfortable what is uh, too much of a burden maybe and you're going to be standing your ground and saying i allow this much and no more i you will be walking away from anything or anyone that doesn't suit you you'll see you'll be able to see through any intentions good intentions bad intentions good decisions bad decisions you will be able to walk but do take this time out and by um, friday i may mean, have the magician again so don't worry about anything you are the magician this week i've already got it as your overall energy and here it shows up again from a totally different deck yes maybe with this magician energy um, there are, there are some very major transformations coming into your life but spirit is trying to say save on saturday just be a little protective of your energy okay don't um, tell me about the four of pentacles spirit the world card okay hanged man and the knight of cups so uh, again I, i'm getting the same message i'm getting the same message that there are that you will be receiving maybe uh, messages with the page of wands people may be being extra nice to you maybe being giving you a proposal to maybe work with you or just be in your company spirit is saying be mindful of squandering your energy towards people who don't deserve it it's like look at this person 
holding back their energy and the hind man is here so just be a little discerning uh, you could be this week also closing out certain chapters with situations or people to start brand new ones the world is opening up for you the world is in your hands you are manifesting it who am i to tell you that but for that yes there will be endings and new beginnings as well so sunday spirit four of cups what's the four of cups one sec too many cards once again sunday spirit uh, sunday i see you sitting waiting okay one second what, what's this transformation happening spirit what is Virgo, uh, Taurus Vake waiting for? Okay, you'll be home. <laughs> that's that's all I can say. Four of Wands uh, may be looking forward to a very, very secure future. But I, I, I think, I have a feeling you're going, you're going to go at it alone. I think that's been your idea from uh, the first card onwards. Uh, you are transforming your life in a huge way. This is like coming out of that cocoon self and emerging like a beautiful butterfly. Um, this is something that you've been waiting to do for a very long time, Taurus, and your ships are coming in now. But... Uh, I have a feeling there will be some offers that you will refuse or leave some people behind or yeah you will you will be people will be offering there will be a lot of people there will be a lot of offers people things trying to get into your way of uh, going at something alone but your advisors to use your own discernment and be the magician of your own life. The universe is going to be backing you. Uh, they are, what The message for you, Taurus, this week is use that sword. Queen of Swords is a very discerning queen. Doesn't allow any bullshit. It's like, yeah, these are my boundaries, these are my decisions, and uh, this is what I'm going to do. And if you come too close, uh, I'm going to cut your head off. Not that I mean it. You know, you know what I mean. Right? It's just a metaphor. All right. So tell me about the new beginning spirit. What's the fool card for Taurus? <laughs> okay. That's what it says. We're not going to tell you. <laughs> no. This is this is something that's happening behind closed doors for Taurus. This is only the universe and Taurus co-creating. But whatever it's going to be is going to be a wish come true. This is like your biggest wish is coming true and you're manifesting this and only the universe is going to be by your side helping you, supporting you and uh, that's it, I guess. <laughs> All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Ne till next time then, love and light, take care, namaste.